Rhabdomyolysis. Let's start by splitting this word up. Rhabdo gives us rod shaped or striped and myolysis gives us myocyte lysis. So it's essentially the lysis of striped muscle i.e. striated muscle. That gives us the definition. A clinical syndrome caused by release of cellular contents after significant injury to striated muscle. The cellular contents involved include myoglobin which is the most concerning creatinine, LDH, purines and electrolytes. The causative factors are essentially anything that causes muscle damage such as trauma, prolonged immobility, convulsions, drugs, myopathies and excessive exercise. Now clinically speaking the presentation of classic myalgia, dark urine and weakness is not common. Make sure to look at the limbs carefully for our underlying compartment syndrome in these patients. So what do the bloods show in these types of patients? Increased CK, increased potassium, low calcium. Urinary myoglobin is positive in these types of patients and is used to monitor treatment. So we move on to treatment now. We address the hyperkalemia following the standard regime. We then replace fluids and we aim to resuscitate to euvolemia. We alternate between normal saline and saline with sodium bicarbonate. If sodium is too high, you can use dextrose instead. We continue this until the urinary myoglobin disappears. We can also alkalinize the urine and essentially what this does is it stabilizes the oxidizing form of myoglobin. We can carry this out by using sodium bicarbonate. Here are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again.